In other news, the police are trialling tech to make firearms practice more effective and also reduce reliance on physical facilities and trainers. It uses sensors and laser-based systems that sharpen speed and accuracy without any ammunition involved, including blanks. Noah Kong has more. This familiar dummy target is facing more pressure as tech comes into play. Today, I'm stepping in as a rookie, having a go at the latest marksmanship tech. Sensors mounted on the standard issue pistol are tracking my every move. Whether I push forward, if my head drops, and even how tense my grip gets. I'm told 90 is the score to beat. Some shots land well, but it's hardly repeatable. So what really makes this system stand out is how it detects the little details of the way I shoot. From the way I stand when holding the pistol, down to how my finger pulls the trigger. All the little details that a trainer may not detect, but are critical to becoming a good shot. Next, I get 10 tries while being timed to hit the target. A laser cartridge inside the pistol works with the camera to judge how consistent my aim really is, or what's called grouping. After about two minutes, I'm pleased with the result. Now the police tell me that this is the first time tech and analytics like these are being used to enhance dry fire training. We are leveraging on technology to enhance training through the use of advanced sensors and laser-based systems. This provides instant feedback during dry fire practice. And this complements live firing training and allows officers to practice more frequently in a safe and controlled environment. Similar technologies are already used by the US military and by law enforcement and security agencies around the world. If the trials prove useful, the systems will be rolled out progressively.